Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're diving into a fascinating challenge in the world of event sourcing. Our viewer is implementing an event sourcing system using Kafka and has encountered a tricky situation during user signups. The question is, how can we handle concurrent signups with conflicting usernames? Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. In an event sourcing system, handling concurrent requests can be challenging. Let's explore how to manage conflicting events during user signup. When two users attempt to sign up with the same username simultaneously, both requests may pass validation before either is persisted. This leads to a uniqueness constraint violation. One approach to mitigate this issue is to use the username as the user ID. This is restrictive, but ensures that only one user can register with a given username. Another solution is to partition your Kafka topic by username. This way, all events for a specific username are processed sequentially, preventing concurrent conflicts. In summary, both approaches have their pros and cons. Choose the one that best fits your application's requirements and scalability needs. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When a new user signs up, it's crucial to check if their chosen username is already taken. This involves sending a new user event to Kafka, which is then processed by another controller to save it in a database. In event sourcing, if multiple writers are involved, synchronization is necessary to maintain a single point of truth. Optimistic concurrency is often used where the original state is reserved before making changes. When two writes occur simultaneously, one will succeed while the other fails due to state changes. The failed write can either retry or propagate the failure which may involve rechecking the original state. To simplify the process, using a single writer per stream can eliminate ambiguity. For multiple writers, a synchronous write to a durable store is common, requiring an event store that supports expected versions. Ultimately, to ensure uniqueness or enforce invariance, all parties must agree on a single authority. This is similar to traditional designs where a database enforces constraints on unique fields. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. When dealing with event sourcing and concurrent events, initial validation against the materialized view may not suffice due to potential unmaterialized events. There are two main concurrency control approaches, pessimistic and optimistic. In the pessimistic approach, you lock relevant resources before publishing an event. This prevents other services from publishing on those resources until the current state is confirmed.
The optimistic approach allows you to publish events first and validate them afterward. This requires a feedback mechanism to handle validation results. Martin Kleppmann suggests a two-step solution involving claims and registrations. First, publish a claim, then write to the database, and finally publish the result. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.